Today's video is about Spicetify, a new experience for Spotify so users can customize its look and add some features that weren't present before. I'm going to show you a program I have made to assist the installation and fix of Spicetify on your Windows PC to make things a little bit more user friendly for people not comfortable typing directly into command terminals themselves. With a one-click program, Spotify should be modified and allow you to play around with the new features. First thing we want to do is make sure we have Spotify installed. If you already do, that's great. If not, make sure you grab the installer and run it to have Spotify on your PC. Once this is finished, we can grab the program I created to install Spicetify and run it. Simply click the top button and wait for the process to finish. This is visibly seen when Windows PowerShell closes itself. The button shows a check mark and Spotify relaunches with a new Marketplace tab in the GUI, which is where you can browse an assortment of new features like themes to escape from the boring standard that we all get upon install. Now sometimes you run Spotify and Spicetify seems to be missing and the program has reverted back to the way it looked before. Not to worry, just run my program again and hit the bottom button and wait for that process to finish. This one will relaunch the app a few times and have a few things happen before it's fully finished so make sure you wait till you see your original theme come back or the marketplace button to return into the GUI. Now if for some reason my program seems to not do the trick, you can use the raw method of installation and or restoring slash upgrading that is available on the website by opening your Windows PowerShell which can be easily accessed via the search on your taskbar. Once it is open, just copy and paste the first line into Windows PowerShell and press enter. Once it is done, then copy and paste the next line and press enter. This is all you need to actually install Spicetify. However, if you need to upgrade or restore because Spicetify is no longer working, you follow these steps here. Open PowerShell and type Spicetify upgrade and press enter. Wait till it's done. There will either be an upgrade or more often the case, no upgrade, but you will need to restore and that means you'll just need to type in Spicetify backup or use an existing backup and type in Spicetify restore backup apply. Once all of this is done, your Spicetify should be back to the way it was before, and you can go ahead and enjoy your Spicetify.